<laughs> What's up, Dude. dick holes? I'm Nick Stud. And I'm Mrs. Nick Stud. Gotcha. I gotcha. She's uh, trying to... Damn. Damn. She was trying to make a funny face for the video. I was like, now nah, I'm just going to start it. She's like, and then she's going to burp. But you haven't yawned yet. Anyways, motherfuckers. High five. It's Michael Bolton Friday. A little late. It might be early Saturday right now. But this is our Michael Bolton Friday video. It is. Yes. Happy Michael Bolton Friday, Mrs. McStead. No. Yes, it is Michael Bolton Friday. That's what's wrong with my Fridays? It's Mickey's Michael Bolton Friday. What? <laughs> what's wrong with your Fridays? Because. Mmm. Did I say what's up, dickholes? Yeah. I did? <clears throat> okay. My brain is a little fried there. You know what a dickhole is? Yeah, a pee hole. That's right. Otherwise known as the urethra. Urethra. Or the, the tunnel in which semen is emitted from the penis. Mm. Yes. Dick hole. <laughs> I, I tried to go a little simpler. What are you looking at? My puzzle. Oh, you look like you're looking this way like I said something on my face. No, I, I'm sweating. My shirt was sticking in my back. Oh. So I went like that to... Oh, that makes sense. Mrs. McStud has been doing a lot of hand jobs today, so she's a little hot. Fuck, I wish it was. That, that fuck, I wish it was, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bitches, it's Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying your evening. The start to many people's weekends. Some people's weekends are like, no, uh, my weekend was the Thursday and Friday, and Saturday and Sunday I have to work. My weekends are not weekends anyways. Yeah, it kind of sucks a bag of dicks. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm a lost cause. Lost cause. Hey, how about that puzzle? Have you looked at it? Bring it home. Oh yeah. my gosh, I gotta ask you a question. Uh oh. She has a question right at the beginning of the video. What must you ask me, Mrs. McStuddy? You're real stupid. No, you're not. When it comes to stuff. Well, I need two things. Okay. Okay. I need I need a speaker for work. Mm hmm So I'm gonna take one of the kids' random ones. A speaker? Yes. Why? Because we listen to music at work and the coworker that left today took her speaker. Oh, okay. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, how do I get to Pandora? Pandora? You download it? I believe it's an app. Um, I don't know how Pandora works these days. I remember when I first, so many years ago, when Pandora first came out, um, at the time I used it on my computer. And I typed in like an artist I want, and you don't always get the artist, it'll say artists like this sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then it plays, and you, I could only like skip like three or four songs, and then I, I couldn't skip anymore because it was free. You just had to wait for whatever song was done playing. I don't know how it works anymore. This one, so when she used to play this music, uh huh, um, she had like four favorite radio stations. Mm -hmm. It's like New Country, Today's Country, Adults Country. A lot of fucking country. Or adults something. Uh -huh. Um. But it's not country, it's shit that we listen to. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know I believe there's a paid <laughs> And then it kept like going, um like you never know what radio station it was on. Uh-huh. And um it didn't have ads. No, I know I'm pretty sure there's a paid part of Pandora and there used to be a free part of Pandora. I'd have to look into it because I'm not sure. I, I I didn't really care for it because it wasn't doing what I wanted. And plus I had fucking hundreds of thousands of mp3s so I can make my own playlist or whatever I wanted to hear initially I'm not sure you can make us playlists for work appropriate probably not but hey it's the thought that counts but now I'll have to check it out for you because I'm not real sure how that works um sorry I'm texting my friend back no you're fine uh it's been an eventful Friday an exciting Friday a tired <coughs> excuse me tiring Friday <clears throat> for a lot of you Last night, uh, our roommate was a little disappointed because we thought that Mortal Kombat was going to come out at midnight here in the Eastern Time Zone. However, when he went to look for it right after midnight, it was only like the first seven minutes in the trailer. So I Google, and over here, Mortal Kombat didn't come out until 3.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So he was kind of shitty about that. So we, uh... He had a doctor's appointment today. So, I knew where the place was, and I knew where I've parked before and seen people going in this building. 
this is the bullshit story of what the fuck we dealt with today. So, before the Mortal Kombat, he had a doctor's appointment, so I had to sleep a little bit last night. Um, so I was coherent, but I was still pretty tired. So I would drive all the way to India. It's right across from Methodist. All the way there. All the way there. Okay, and when I when I was sitting outside in that parking lot, the, it's a free parking lot, I know where the building's at, and I seen people get out of the car and go in that side building, or the side door. No big deal. I was like, hey, we can just park right there. It's real close. Mm -hmm. Great. Sounded good until we got there, parked, walked across the street. That entrance is an employee entrance. But when I Googled or I mapped it, Mm -hmm. It showed it went to the front uh, the side of the building by where Michigan Street is and There's an entrance right there So we're walking right down there about halfway down the building employees only <laughs> fuck So long story short we end up walking all the way around this building and keep in mind He has a trach and it's hard for him to breathe and by the time we realized we weren't getting anywhere like we had went beyond the point of no return <laughs> like we just needed to get into the fucking building so, there's a parking garage. We walk through the motherfucking parking garage. Get into an entrance, and that took us exactly where we needed to go. However, as we get in the building, there's a little roundabout. And this whole parking garage is right there by the fucking entrance. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Because last time I was here, I thought people can go in there. But it turned out to be a very good uh, doctor's visit because he got a new trick put in, and now he can talk. And he has not uh, failed to exercise that ability all day <laughs> he was super excited he's been uh, super stoked so it was a it was a pretty good day this poor guy had to struggle to get into the fucking building because it took forever like we needed a golf cart like they should i should have got one of the little bird scooters and he could have like scooted yeah to the front i would have paid for it just so he could get there like i'll meet you there in a few minutes mm. the other time my day started out so then we got done with all that so we can talk we're on our way home and I'm like, man, I had to try to call the IRS and shit when I got home. So I was like, as soon as I get all this done, I'm going to sleep. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I waited on the phone for the IRS for 20 minutes and it just shuts off. <sighs> After finding a loophole to get to talk to a fucking representative. <laughs> I still say you need, need to send a text. A text? Yes. Oh, okay. And make sure that that didn't happen. Because you could have just potentially typed something wrong. Have you rechecked it? I did when I submit. I always go over all my stuff when I do it before I finally submit it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I think everything's okay. But I don't know. But, yeah. Who knows? But other than that, I'm like, I'm not ready to go to bed. So he puts on Mortal Kombat. He's over there rubbing his hands. I'm like, it's like, Mortal Kombat. I'm like, <sighs> son of a bitch. So then we had to watch Mortal Kombat, which was pretty fucking cool, by the way. It did seem to go very fast. I, th I thought it was a short movie. It was an hour and 50 fucking minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, and I thought, like, it was really cool because you get to see a lot of cool shit and, like, they redone the stuff a lot. It was, it was pretty awesome, but um, it just went really fast because was, I was really into it. I was like, man, that seemed quick. And then he went to shut it off. It was like an hour. Two, that was almost two hours. We sat here. Like, holy fuck. Oof. And I finally get to go to sleep. But uh, how was your day, Mrs. McStud? Um, well, I started the day off with a, a margarita. You didn't start the day off. You ended your work day with that. This is true. <laughs> my weekend. I started my weekend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wasn't there. This is a work event that she went to. Um, so that's what my day was. Oh. Like in a nutshell, I needed a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can't argue that. Sometimes you just need a margarita with extra tequila. But was it good? Yeah, what the fuck? Why are all these pictures taken of me uh, on my phone? I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. So, um, we've got a busy weekend ahead. We're going over to the other house tomorrow. Try to figure out some furniture arrangements. What do you say, you're painting? Yes. Miss McStud's gonna paint a little bit. Got a refrigerator. I've got, got a refrigerator coming, which is cool as shit. One of probably the nicest refrigerator I've ever had in my life. Me um, too. But since we were going to own the house, we decided, you know, we're going to get what do we want in the motherfucker. Which yeah. is uh, great. Um, so we got that going. Um, I don't really know what the fuck happened in today's news. There wasn't a whole lot. There's UFC tomorrow. 
Usman and Masvidal. Yes, they were advertising that. At the restaurant? No, uh, I think I, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember if I was look, actually looking at the news uh -huh. or if I saw it on Facebook. Oh. But I only meant to be, so uh, for lunch, I, I didn't tell you what I did for lunch. No, what did you do for lunch? Let's so hear it. I really was craving a fucking salad. Mm -hmm. I really just wanted a salad. Yes. I had Taco Bell pulled up, but I was like, I, for whatever reason, I haven't been hungry. Mm -hmm. Like, I've not been, well, I didn't eat dinner last night. You're just busy and stressed and Except I, else? well, I did eat one thing. Yeah, you had a French bread. Um. So, I was like, I just want a salad. Mm -hmm. So, I went to Kroger, mm -hmm. and I got me one of my little salads. Oh, yeah? And I got a four-pack of Hawaiian rolls. They sell four packs? They yeah. Oh, like little wow. Yeah. That's cool. Because my favorite thing of all fucking time. Mm -hmm. It's a little expensive, but <laughs> get a little bit of and you won't think it's nice. Is it a salad? One yes. Of those, oh. Get a little bit of chicken salad and then cut that cut those rolls in half. That's the best fucking thing ever for lunch. But I wanted a salad. So I went and got me a dollar pack of four. Those rolls, four pack, is mm -hmm. only a dollar. That's not bad. So I got me a four pack of that and my salad. And I was just supposed to be gone, you know, long enough to go across the street to Kroger. Mm -hmm. Well, and then I was making phone calls for the roommate. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a full half hour. Well, you know what I'd rather eat other than any kind of like potato salad, ham salad, pasta salad, shit salad like that? Right. I'd rather eat a warthog, wart, wart, warthog's cock. Oof. Yeah, because that shit is fucking disgusting. That's like mixing uh, mayonnaise with your tuna. I just want the regular tuna. I enjoy the tuna. And now they sell those tunas in the packs. Like it's a reg regular tuna mm -hmm. in a zip seal, but they have like lemon pepper and flavors. And those are fucking amazing too. Right. Uh, I just want to scoop the shit out. Like I can eat tuna like that. I can eat it straight out the can as soon as I drain the juice. But you think that mayonnaise in there? I don't want that fucking shit. I just want some fucking tuna. I haven't, I haven't eaten tuna in a long fucking time. Used to eat a lot of tuna back when in college when I was working out for the protein. A lot of tuna, a lot of eggs, uh, a lot of mac and cheese, which probably wasn't on the diet, but it was it was cheap, and, and that's when I learned to make mac and cheese. What I didn't learn at that time was to add my extra milk like I do now, right. that everyone loves, because damn, I could eat a whole thing, a whole box of mac and cheese by myself in a quickness, but if I would have threw that milk in there, shit would have been fucking delightful. Oh, um, did you have anything you want to discuss today, Ms. McStone? Anything that bothers you? Anything on top of your head? Something that happened today that might have just irked your nerve or pissed you Every off? Every fucking thing. Everything? Everything that happened today, I, I was, you know how I told you Tuesday that my give a fuck was busted Broken. by like Tuesday? Yes. Well, it progressively gets worse as the week goes on. Oh. So... I didn't talk about this with you yet. Mm -hmm. I talked to that guy at the school about that fucking math teacher. Oh, yeah, I remember about and that. And basically, I told him, I said, look, I don't give two fucks what happens at this school because my son's done with this school after this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. I said, but I want you to know that that math teacher mm -hmm. and all of her students is fucking failing. She's fake. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, I, I, I used to take calculus where I used to have one page a whole page for mm -hmm. one motherfucking problem mm -hmm. and I know what a fucking function is <laughs> and she has that stuff set to where it doesn't even mark it correct when the, there that's the correct answer right I was like so all the people is fucking failing her math class I just want you to know that she probably needs her ass beat <laughs> You said that? I, I straight did. You know I did. <laughs> and he's like, oh. well, now. And he's like, he's failing other grades, too, and he's got a lot of zeros. You know what? He's been asking all fucking week. Mm -hmm. Because he's sick. Yes, I've called him in. And I said, and another thing is, your bitch-ass attendance lady. I said, because when we call him in, she just decides she ain't going to excuse that. Yeah. Well, fuck him out of here. Yeah. And I said, what about those 78 absences? I said, he hasn't missed 78 fucking classes. Right. Um, he goes, well, that's because they're supposed to stay on a Zoom the whole time that class is there. 
and a lot of virtual students aren't doing that. You know what? Teachers don't make them do that because if they did, then he would fucking be there. Mm -hmm. Like if he's late or not. If the mm -hmm. class is still going on, he wouldn't be counted absent. Mm -hmm. And he should be able to get on there and ask them questions that about submitting and everything. <clears throat> like a general student can in class. Yes, and I said, you know what? I've been over this and over this with this fucking teacher. Mm -hmm. I said, because he, he's like, why do you contact the teacher? Because I already have and I do not like the bitch. Multiple times. Period. Multiple times. I said, I have proof. Mm -hmm. I said, she makes, I said, she makes them to get half of it done by Wednesday for what? Because she doesn't help them get the right, submit the right answer or submit it correctly. Mm -hmm. I said, and plus, these weekly skills are supposed to help make sure that they know the material for the fucking test. Mm -hmm. If she has it so locked down to where you have to submit it this exact way and it's always wrong, he's not going to know the fucking shit for the test. No wonder he gets F's. Mm -hmm. I said, this is supposed to be extra practice. Yeah. And it's not. Well, the only thing I can think is he's not submitting it, or he's not submitting his work correctly. Oh, my no, God. he's submitting it correctly. The teacher has it locked down to the way she wants it submitted. Get the fuck out of here. I said, that's why I like math, because guess what? There's one fucking answer. And In English, you can say one word, and it can be five fucking different things. It can be an adjective, adverb, what what the fuck ever. And she's fucked up her good formative answers, too, so they're not right. Then she had to switch them. Yeah. Because teachers make mistakes, too. And then she's like, well, you're wrong. Like, so, no. I, I mean, I got into it with him. I, I was probably on the phone for over a half hour. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I just fucking let him have it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not over that teacher. He's like, what teacher are you talking? Miss Van Hill or whatever the fuck you say. However you say it. I was like, I don't fucking like her. I've been into it with her all fucking year. And then you wonder why my son's fell in fucking math. Probably along with... 85% of her other virtual students. Because she's a bitch. Yes. I, I went outside to take that phone call. I, I bet knew you it did. wasn't going to be good. I bet you did. Did you get anywhere or was just kind of like running your mouth? And nope. I didn't get nowhere. Same shit as always. Yeah. No, of course not. Raggedy bitches at the schools. I swear. He says, it's always the student's responsibility. You know what? It's the fucking teacher's responsibility to make sure they know the fucking material and how to submit the right answer. And it's also the teacher's responsibility to know when a student is present and not to count them absent. And this brings me to another point, which we're dealing with with the daughter um, being called in. Because one of her teachers wants to be a bitch and say, well, maybe you should email all your fucking teachers. First of all, if we call her in, that should be relayed to all the fucking teachers. If you're at a job and you got three supervisors, you call one supervisor yeah. or one person and they let all your supervisors know. Like you're setting an unrealistic standard for students. To like, they feel like shit, so now I gotta send this email and type in fucking five other teachers' emails to say, hey, and you might have something different to say to each teacher depending on what the work is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could have, you could have like a project or some fucking uh, a paper or all kinds of shit, so you, the, the same email is not gonna be generalized to all the fucking teachers. Um, uh, yeah, we, who the fuck has five supervisors at work and like, oh, you need to call each one of them? My job. Oh, yeah, that is kind of stupid, too. That ain't no fucking joke. Yeah, that is true. I forgot you mentioned that. I, but, I call, or I texted and said I was going to be late. Well, yeah, I mean, I have two supervisors, but I texted the main one. Uh-huh. And, oh, that wasn't good enough. I was supposed to text both my supervisors, the owner and the office manager. So, four people to let them know that I was just going to be ten minutes late because I was at Starbucks. And does that not remind you of office space? It does. <laughs> And I still, guess what? what? I still don't fucking text all of them. I bet I wouldn't either. I'm not going to. Yeah. I text, I text the girl I work with because she's mm -hmm. right there next to me. Let her know I'm going to be there. Yes. And I text my supervisor. Yeah. That's it. Fuck them right in the goat ass. Uh, if she can't fucking send a little IM mm -hmm. to let everybody fucking know Leslie's going to be 10 minutes late, I'll be there. Yeah. Already. So whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. It's a goddamn mess. Well, that's, that's exactly what I wanted from you. Like, I knew something had to. And I knew your give a fuck was broken. That's why I had to ask. Like, what has been... And I got it. Exactly. And, that, and that's Mrs. McStud right there. She went off and fucked in the school. Yeah, I did. And told them that teacher needed her ass beat because that's my favorite. <laughs> I told the girls before that phone call, I said, I really want to drag that teacher out by the hair on her fucking head clear across the goddamn cement. 
all the way across that fucking parking lot. And they go, oh, that's, that's violence. Oh, I don't give God. two fucks. For those of you who don't know this McStud, she loves some fucking violence. I do. She loves fights. She loves fighting. She likes watching fights on TV. She She's not a violent person, but if she has to be, she will be. It doesn't like take much. <laughs> I mean, she's a very loving, caring person, amazing mother. Uh, would not hurt the hair on anyone's head unless they deserved it. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. If you deserve it, if you got it coming, you might want to watch out. Other than that, you're good. Because that's she's... why I'm kind of nervous to move back to Newcastle. <laughs> but the thing is, she will help anyone and give you one the shirt off her fucking back. <clears throat> yeah. At I the will. end of the day, she's very charitable, very generous. And we'll do anything for anybody. So, I mean, it's a good mixture of... It's, it's pretty leveled out. That's another well, thing why my check was short. What's that? I forgot I donated $40 of charity. You did? Yeah. What, what, what charity did you donate to? So, um... God damn it. Uh, the Hope House. Hope House. What does a Hope a House Greenfield. do? Greenfield. What do they do? It's a homeless shelter... And they get it's like a, and they give food to people too. Oh well, cheers to that, Mister Mix. I had no idea you did that. I did. Oh, that's amazing. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I didn't even know about it. She she does that and I like that come out of my check of her. Oh, I don't care. Like that's cool. Like Miss Mix does. Like you know what? Okay, come on, drop forty bucks to do and see. You gave me chills. Like that's fucking awesome. I love you. Because <laughs> you're she's an, she really is an amazing person, day in and day out. <clears throat> um. That, and that just shows that, you know, for as much as she wants to drag a teacher across the uh, parking lot, she's willing to help those in need. Norris has been that way. Um, so I wanted to touch base back on some shit we were talking about a day or two ago. Stupid shit we did as kids. Yeah. And you said you didn't do any stupid shit. Yeah. Except fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one story that I like to tell. Oh my God. What? Is it my car story? Or is it my VCR story? It's about stupid shit we did as a kid. No, I was a kid. The VC oh, the porno? Mm-mm. The VCR story. To where I didn't know it was working and it was unplugged. Oh, we discussed that already. Oh. Yeah, when we are doing the tech support part oh, of the... yes. And I remember I had to say, like, I always have to ask you and not, like, be rude. <laughs> like, is it plugged in? Yeah, we went over that. <laughs> No, I'm talking about dumb shit we did as kids, like, out and about. <clears throat> so, what were we, maybe freshman in high school, 8th, ninth, 8th grade, roughly. Um, so, we liked to go out, and it was a small town. Everyone knew each other. But we decided, you know, how people toilet paper houses. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know where the idea <coughs> came from. I don't know. I didn't make it up, but we called it Gucci bombing. Just taking wet toilet paper and just throwing at houses or people or whatnot. <laughs> and my buddy had a... I, and this story has never been publicly, publicly told until right now. And I'm not giving any names. Um, I don't think I've heard this story. But I was part of this. Uh, at least I wasn't part of the, some of the extreme stories I've heard about this happening. Uh, it was basically just harmless shit we did. But there was some other shit that happened. I, don't, I, I was never there for that. Um... So we take this wet toilet paper, you know, you throw it at someone's window, you're like, what the fuck? And it's in their house, and they got the toilet paper off the house. No big deal. Right. It's just toilet paper. So my buddy had a pool in his backyard, and behind his house was an alley, and there's other houses on the other side of the alley. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you could park in the backyard if you wanted to, kind of like where we're moving. Uh -huh. um, so I can't exactly remember how we transported this toilet paper. I don't know if we had a bucket. Or if we just ran or we just grabbed some. We went, like, I don't remember how we did it. But we used this pool water to get the toilet paper wet. <clears throat> and we'd done this a couple times. So one night we're doing it. And some jackass out of the friend group decides to throw this wet toilet paper on this truck that turns into the alley. Mm -hmm. I'll be goddamned if it wasn't the neighbor right behind my buddy's house. <laughs> and he was not a happy man. He was not a happy man. And at this time, the cops got called. So we're running through shit, and the cops are, like, after us. Right. Okay, and we're just on foot. And they get us into a, another alley, and they're telling us to stop running. So we're just, like, dispersing through people's yards. Yeah. Everywhere, you know, we meet back up. And, and we end up running back by my buddy's house. 
Mm-hmm. That motherfucker is still outside waiting for us all to get caught. And he's like, you come up here, you're going to get shot. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're still just like running. And we end up at our school, which is close by. Well, uh, the elementary school. Uh, I can't remember. How, the high school is right across from the elementary school. The yeah. middle school is a little further away. But uh, we're over in the playground at the elementary school, and there's probably ten of us. And uh, oh, they were, we ran behind the high school is what we did. And there was cops driving in the yard behind it, and yeah. coming up around the parking lot in between the two schools. So. At that elementary school, there's a little, uh, I don't know, divot in the building, like a divide, before you can go in. And there's light on one side and it's dark on the other. We like doggy piled on top of each other in the shaded part of this. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, be quiet, be quiet, quiet. This cop's shining his lights. Didn't think to look right there. Pulled off. Okay. Yeah. So, like, holy shit. So we decide to run. And behind our school, that school and the high school is a uh, the track football field. It's a nice little walk <laughs> to get back there. If you go behind, go beyond a little bit, you go through some fields. So we end up in a little housing addition after walking through this cornfield, one of our buddies' houses. Well, not my buddy, like someone they knew. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, we were Gucci bombing, and the cops got caught on us. So we got we got we like we got through by a cut hair there, in that elementary school parking lot, because they were right there. We're like, how the fuck did we even get by that? And I don't remember how we got home, but we got away scot free that night with Gucci bombing. That was one of the times I could have got caught Eef. being arrested. No, the uh, the first time I actually after got taken to the police station. I was about to say that you have been taken to the police station. <laughs> Actually, we all did, and only two of the people we were hanging with did the problem, <clears throat> and we were all innocent. <sighs> so we have. Which a hot... I never used to like to get in trouble. I don't, so man. I was in, I was scared shitless. But this guy was a dick. You got that lighter because you just want to take it and take it over there. And... You just smoked. You don't need another. One. I get, bitch. That's a lot. You motherfucker. Here. I got it. I got it. No, you said. <laughs> You want to tell me I just smoked. <laughs> so we were uh, uh, fifth, sixth grade probably at this time. And they've got houses in this area now, but it was a big yard we used to play baseball in. Yeah. And uh, stuff like that. So we're out doing stuff like that. And then two of our buddies decide they're going to climb on top of the uh, hospital roof. They run around. And there's a neighbor. <laughs> Out the road mowing their yard. We don't think nothing of it. And then four cops fucking roll up. I believe it was four. For two kids running on top of the hospital roof. And by this time they were done. We are all sitting in the yard back there just chilling. So the one dickhead who was like a private detective after that. He was just such a fucking cock. Like he just had to like exert his power. Yeah. Um, they come back here and it's like who was on the roof. And the two guys actually admitted to it. You're like, it was me and me. I'm like, okay. And he's like, take them all in. What the fuck? So we all get loaded into these police cars. Down to the fucking police station. We have to give the cops our parents' number. You know, it's back with landlines and shit. So my mom and my grandma have to come up. And I'm sitting in this room. And they're like, can you tell them what you did? <sighs> I'm like, first of all... I didn't do anything. We were just out playing baseball or tag or whatever the fuck we were doing. And the two people that admitted to it were on top of the hospital roof because they already admitted to it. Like, it wasn't, like, snitching or anything. Like, they told them right there. They were on there. They come down. They told the cops when we were there. And Officer Cockface, which I didn't call him that, <laughs> uh, decided to bring us all in. And I think my mom was mad at that point. She's like, wait a minute. So the two kids that actually did what they were saying got brought in but you took them all in and now we're all coming to the police station for something that these other kids did not do yet the other people admitted to it right so uh, they were not happy about that and I was scared shitless I'm like I'm at the fucking police station I didn't do a damn thing I'm like what the fuck <laughs> and he was such a cock yeah that that, that happened too <laughs> like what the fuck man 
middle school, and that's the only time I've ever been in the back of a police car. And I remember your last time, too, because otherwise you'll be sitting there saying, not picking your fucking ass up from jail. Well, thank God I don't do anything that requires that shit. Unless you beat somebody's ass. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's going to be hard for me to do that right now. I know. Um, just because of my back. <laughs> but I'll fucking, I'll, I'll, I'll go down trying. <laughs> shit. Like I said, I got one good punch, and I better I better make it the one-hitter quitter. Or, <laughs> or I might be fucked. But that one-hitter quitter is, you know, remember uh, Dan Henderson? With his overhand right? Yeah, that's me. I better fucking clock him good. Or else uh, I'll be on the ground getting stomped. <laughs> and that's why I have to carry a gun, because I can't fully defend myself anymore. Not like I want to shoot anybody. I'd rather throw some, throw some fists, but I'm just not fucking fully capable. I don't think I am anyways. With the twisting and turning, especially if someone wanted to tackle Maybe. me. I don't know. It depends on your adrenaline. Everyone likes to run around, like, wrestle around and shit now. Yeah. I don't know, unless I just get that dude that can, like, do, like, the kick to the head. That'd probably take me out real quick. I ain't, I ain't never been kicked in the head. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I'd be ready for that shit. <laughs> what happened, babe? I got kicked in the head. <laughs> Knocked me the fuck out. But I've never been knocked unconscious. Knock on wood. Um, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was thinking about that stuff earlier. I was like, well, let's go into some couple more stories of bullshit that I dealt with as a kid. That you um, did as a kid, not dealt with. Well, yeah, the first you story. did that to have the, to deal with The first with story it. I did as a kid. The second time, I didn't do anything. Like, we weren't dumb enough to get on air. They were like, fuck it, do it. And they admitted, like, hey, we're the guilty ones. That's like getting pulled over for drugs, and the guy said, this is my weed, and I let the driver go, you know? Like, no, yeah. take them both in. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, just minute that's their shit. <laughs> what the fuck am I in jail for? I didn't know he had it. Especially if you didn't know they had it. Right. Um, why the fuck am I getting arrested for that shit? <clears throat> you never had no moments like that? Nothing? Mm-mm. Never? Never been in a cop car? <laughs> nope. Really? Not even in high school? Nope, I just called my parents. <laughs> ah. I was only ever in one fight at school. At the school. Oh, the big one? Yes. Oh. And I had to call my mom. Mm hmm. And she was pissed. Mm -hmm. Unless she called my dad. But I needed to go to the hospital because I had just had surgery. Oh. Yeah. Well, that, that one worked out well for you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss McStud, like. Still. It was self-defense, because she was overage. Mm-hmm. And you still whooped that ass. I beat her ass. <laughs> her shirt was red. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I don't have any <laughs> stories like that. Huh? I don't have any stories like that. I beat her ass all the way to the principal's office. I already knew she needed to go. <laughs> she went to the cop car. Or she went to the hospital in a cop car. Mm hmm So I broke her nose multiple yeah. places. I don't have any stories like that because the first half of my life I was the biggest pussy in the world. I'm not. Yeah, I was. I'm not. I was a big she jumped on me too. Mm -hmm. She jumped on my back. Self defense. I was a big fat. At first, vagina. I thought I was gonna have to go to court over it. I was like, okay. And then they changed their. You know, they sent me a letter saying I didn't have to go. Well, that's good. Oh Lord, I had to go to court for my first car wreck. So I was uh, in Ohio. I did push a teacher down during that fight. Well, that's understandable. French teacher. She was trying to come and get me off of her. And I tell people, like, when I'm going after somebody, do not get in the way because I will hit you. <laughs> like, if my adrenaline's that much, I mean, I will hit you. Yeah, will, you always tell me that. I'm going to get you out of the fucking way. <clears throat> I've had to pull you out of a few situations. And this little skinny fucking French teacher, my French teacher... Thought she was going to come up and fucking get in the middle of everything. <laughs> I done shoved her little scrawny ass clear across the fucking hallway. <laughs> you can't do that. Like, how? You're one teacher. <clears throat> like, you're just going to hold me so that you want me to get off over so she can hit me? Oh, yeah, that's the biggest fucking And thing. I even gave her a chance. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I nail her a few times and then she's like, I'm done, I'm done. I was like, okay, walk to the fucking office then. And that's the problem. And then she came back at me, so I fucking beat her ass all the way to the office after that. That's the problem with a lot of teachers. Yeah. They don't realize how to disperse a fight. Really. Mm -hmm. They want to grab one person. 
And not knowing, like, emotions are high. When you're holding that one person down, the other person is going to come fucking... Yeah, that shit ain't happening. Like, it's swinging at the other. You can't that do that. that bitch was 10 shades of crazy. <clears throat> like, I was in the principal's office, and she was in the nurse's office. <laughs> and I could hear her fucking screaming <laughs> in the nurse's office trying to get to me. <laughs> and I'm like, let me let me go out there. <laughs> what the fuck? Did she come back for more? Do you want seconds? <laughs> <laughs> like, I well, don't... after that ass beating, she's probably just trying to save face with the other students. Um, rest of the year, she had to walk around with a cop because she was uh safely behind another door. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's it's amazing how uh, how much shit people talk when they're safely behind. I wish something. I had that shit on fucking camera. Oh, Lord Jesus, this bitch comes right up on me and jump. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> like, this bitch is really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucked up thing is our high school and middle school's connected and her mom was a fucking assistant principal of the middle school <laughs> <laughs> and her aunt was the choir director for the high school and the middle school well that makes some for it and her dad was president of Citizen State Bank <laughs> you know that's that's a proud moment for the relatives and parents <laughs> to know that you just assaulted someone who was just had surgery for whatever. What was it? Why did she assault you? Oh, I was dating her ex. That's all it was. That's all it was. They oh. were not together. They had been broken up. I'd been with him for probably six months or so. Mm-hmm. We got in a fight at the field house one day. <laughs> uh... And I kind of just told her, mm -hmm. you know, don't, I'm going to fling you down these side of the fucking stairs if you don't leave me alone. <laughs> she kept like running, just running her mouth. She never touched me. She just ran her mouth. But you know how I get. So I just warned her. You yeah. shut the fuck up and you turn around and walk down the goddamn fucking stairs. Because you can't just talk to anyone however the fuck you want to talk to them. So you never I kind of got in trouble because, you know, mm -hmm. I was loud. I'm yeah. a loud person. Mm -hmm. And then about a week later, that happened. I remember that day, for real. Uh, it was only like a week after that? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was my, I, And the thing was, like, we didn't have words or anything since that field house day. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I was literally, I just had my books and I was, I had middle lunch. Mm -hmm. So I was walking back to my fifth hour class from lunch <clears throat> when she jumped on me with my books. And that's a bitch ass move. Really. She jumped on me from behind. I she jumped on yeah. I mean, and yeah. I love the more more I more so love the fact that she got her ass beat after coming at you from behind. Yeah. Um, because that's just a bitch ass move. <laughs> it's like sucker punching the motherfucker and like, yeah, I whooped your ass. No. Well, I mean no, she no. got me in the face, it was like right here. Mm -hmm. You know, when she Put her arm around me. She hit me with the other hand. Mm -hmm. I fucking flung that bitch off, and I was fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> well, she didn't know what was coming that day. No, <laughs> and she still to this day. Last time we, I saw her at Walmart, she still fucking turns around and walks the other way. And the thing is, I hardly even recognize her <laughs> now. And neither of us are with the guy that she fucking did Forgot that about. all for. <laughs> Oh, good times, Miss McStead. What the fuck? You never know what's going to happen at school. Like, emotions are high. Hormones, especially at time. It's a time of change for a lot of kids. Uh, that especially was the worst fire I've ever seen, though. Well, probably not. If I was fucking on the lockers, this fight was bloody as fuck. <laughs> I mean, I had to go to Saturday school because I was on the lockers watching it. But you know what? There was blood all over. Like, the walls were white, and there was an art room beside our lockers. And this bitch beat the fuck out of this bitch. I mean, and I didn't like either of them. Mm -hmm. But there was blood fucking splattered all over the windows and the walls. And they warned us, like, you better get to class or you're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. I fucking stay right up there. I climbed all the fucking lockers. That's Miss McStud for you. She loves to watch fights. Yeah, and they're like, well, 
We told you. I said that was bloody. That was fine. That was that was a good fight. Was it like the, the like the fights your cousin put on, like the MMA fights? Yeah. And there's a fight in the parking lot. Where would you be? In the parking lot. In the parking lot. <laughs> You'd be one of those ones running out to see what the fuck's happening. Yep. Like, is it gonna be a better fight than what we're watching right here? Because that's street shit. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't no fucking yeah. Oh. They Lord don't want to stop you till the cops get that's there. That's the same way you are at the racetrack. And I'm not calling the cops. The same way we're at the race way. Baby, where you going? Baby, where? I gotta see us fight. I'm like, oh, will you get the fuck up out of there? Jesus Christ, you're gonna fucking run your mouth and you're gonna be into it too. Oh, you should have saw when <clears throat> Damn and that's race. I can only imagine. You got yeah. that Mount Lawn? Yep. Oh. Lord Jesus. Not you. Not you. Yeah, you. You know when they were gonna fight in the pits. By yeah. the way they act going around the track, I showed you. Yeah, you did show me that, and you were you were you were right. <laughs> and I went back by your side. You go back by that fence, <laughs> yeah. and they're flipping out like it. This next time was not bullshitting. Oh, it's not. <laughs> you know when they're gonna fight, whatever shit, stupid shit. Happens. It's like that's gonna cause a fight right there. They're gonna be fighting in the back in a minute after this race. I'm like, she's like, I need to smoke. We're going back there. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Let's go check it out. <coughs> I'd rather watch a fight than fucking <laughs> Have you ever watched a race where some people got out of their car and fought on the track? Absolutely. I figured you probably had. Absolutely. I, just, I, just had, I just had to ask that because I know it's like you watch a lot of small town races. The small town that's a yep. small that's a small track too. Mm -hmm. Real small track. Um, and anyone can just that motherfucker pulled right in the fucking center. <laughs> Oh, in the yard? Yep. <laughs> right there in the... Yeah, we're redneck from hell. Oh, God. It was he a little patch right of grass right, right the fucking, there. And <laughs> yeah, he did. He pulled right up there in the fucking middle. Of that other, his... when, that, when that race was... He got out of his car and he was yelling shit. And then... <clears throat> when the race was over, that other driver went right out there to the fucking middle. <laughs> well, I tell you, Miss McStud's redneck racer... Love and fight, ass shit, ass crazy uh, woman. Yes, I really am. She really is. Anyways, how was your Mickey's? Amazing. Good. Good video. Yeah. Good discussion. Happy Michael Bolton Friday. That was a long video. It was. Forty-two minutes. <laughs> we'll catch you bitch tomorrow for Shit Dick Saturday. What? I had a coach y'all. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> and I'm, that's nasty. Oh, I'm I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. We'll catch you bitches tomorrow. Deuces, bitches. Eh.